Hey everyone, Harrison Diamond here with my weekly dry fire focus video. I have one last big outdoor match this weekend that I'm preparing for. My carry optics gun is back with a new red dot sight and some more slide milling complete. Since I spent the last several weeks using iron sights, I decided I'd spend this week making sure I was finding my red dot effectively and then next week I'll focus on the partial targets that we talked about last time. To that end, I use a series of three drills and as always, every gun you'll see in my dry fire is unloaded, but more on that later. Drill number one isn't very photogenic. I'm just drawing for my Red Hill Tactical Holster, drawing to something small on the wall, maybe a couple inches square. Business card works really well, especially if it's got like a little design on it. And I'm just trying to get my red dot onto that target point straight off the draw every time. Now the next two drills add a movement component to make sure I get the dot during movement transitions. To simulate a normal course of fire, I'm using some scaled targets, and I set up some landmarks to act as my shooting area and target positions. So for drill number two, I'm just drawing to the target in front of me, taking both targets that are in the array, then moving to the other shooting position at speed. Now, a lot of new competitors won't start to get that gun up until they're fully into the new position, probably because they're used to moving and shooting as two separate things. That's something I used to do a lot. Just by focusing on this skill, you can pretty easily start to shave multiple seconds off the stage times. So while the draw portion of this drill confirms that drill number one was a success, my focus on this drill is making sure that my gun is up and the red dot is on target as I enter the new position so I can break that first shot faster. A side note, you see I'm doing this going back and forth between the two positions. That lets me make sure that I'm equally comfortable moving to both my strong and weak sides. Drill number three is similar to number two, but instead of worrying about just a sprint between positions, I'm making sure I find my dot during a moving reload. Again, my goal in this drill is purely making sure that my body and the red dot are getting where I want them when I want them there. The reload itself is just a step in the drill and not a focus area. I'm not considering its speed or smoothness as part of whether the drill rep was a success, although it should be pretty consistent as I practice those a lot. You also might notice in the video that it looks like you see a bullet or two fly out of the mags when they hit the ground. I'm actually using weighted dummy bullets that are kept completely separate from all the ammo in the house, along with a snap cap in the chamber. This lets me practice with the gun and the mags that weigh and therefore move, the same as the real thing. I'll get into why that's important in a future video. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Remember, dry fire is a crucial tool for any competitor. I'll have two match videos coming up in the next week, so I'll see you then.